Norfolk Police Chief Mark Talbot says violent crimes are down, but one crime is on the rise throughout the city, car thefts. The chief updated residents on crime in the city tonight, and as News 3's Leandra Head reports, the city's top cop shared more on technology that will soon be used to help police fight crime. Norfolk police say car thefts have gone up significantly throughout the city and unlocked cars make it easier for burglars to steal cars. Late at night, they're checking people's car doors. They're even going up in people's homes to uh, porches to see if the doors are open. And this should not be. They seem to have no fear. I have cameras on the front and back of my house. 75-year-old Deborah Mapp says car break-ins have become too common in her Broad Creek neighborhood. I see them coming through late at night looking to see where I'm vulnerable at. She says she would like to see a heavier police presence. I would like to see more community policing. Living in Broad Creek, we hardly ever see policemen. People need to get out of their mind that snitches get stitches. In a meeting with residents who live in downtown Ghent and Larchmont, Chief Mark Talbot says homicides are down across the city by 40% compared to this time last year. But police say car thefts have risen by 30%. As of July 15, Norfolk police say the city has seen 20 homicides this year. Last year in 2022, the city saw a total of 34. As police departments face shortages across the country, technology is playing a huge role. Talbot says a real-time crime center will help police monitor video feeds in one centralized location so police can see what's going on in real time. We expect it to be fully up and operational somewhere October, November of this year. This video shows what a center in Baton Rouge, Louisiana looks like. We'll have both sworn and non-sworn uh, staff members inside there. They will have screens in front of them to be able to see all of our flock information and our cameras. Uh, they, they will be looking to see what's happening in different public spaces throughout the city. It's going to be manned 20 hours a day so that uh, there are going to be very few times in which there's not somebody who's actively paying attention. The center will oversee cameras all at once, including city owned cameras, license plate readers and live feeds from schools and hospitals. In Norfolk, I'm Leandra Head, News 3.